Alright, let's get right into it. So let's pick these games. We're going to go right through it and then we're going to talk about what we think is going to happen on the second half of the season. Who knows? We could be right or wrong, but we're just going to speculate. So first game, Titans-Pittsburgh. I end up picking the Steelers to win, but I got the Titans to cover. Alright, next we got the Miami Dolphins versus the Kansas City Chiefs, and it's an overseas game. They're going across the pond. Uh, I don't know. This I had a tough time picking this one because right, we know Miami, their offense is much better, but Patrick Mahomes is a golden boy. You know, the defenses are probably similar, but I think Miami's a little bit better. I think Miami's a little bit better team, but the Chiefs have the better quarterback. In other words, if Patrick Mahomes was on Miami, Miami would be unbeatable. They would be, let's be honest. You put Tua on the Chiefs, the Chiefs are probably not as good, right? <laughs> that's pro that's what I'm saying. So it all this game is contingent upon how good Tua plays. If Tua plays the way he's supposed to play, like an NFL quarterback and a top uh, first-round pick like he was, they should win the game. And it's going to be across the sea. So I think they're going to have a nice showing. It's going to be so many points scored. But at the end of the day, I th the safer pick is the Chiefs. But something tells me Miami's going to win. But I'm going to pick the Chiefs because I think Miami's going to lose to all the playoff teams in the regular season just to win in the playoffs. That's what they were doing last year with the Bengals. And uh, kind of the Chiefs, too, at some points. But... Yeah, all right, so I'm, I'm going to pick the Chiefs there. Next, Minnesota, Atlanta. Minnesota just acquired Joshua Dobbs, so I'm going to pick Minnesota. I don't trust the quarterback that has the most turnovers in the league. I, who, like, you can't trust a Ritter, man. They need to get rid of him straight up. Next, we got Arizona versus Cleveland. Kyler Murray is going to play like his job depends on it. Because it does. Like, there's no guarantee they're going to keep him next year with the top pick if they end up having that. Cleveland, I think they're still starting their backup. Uh, I'm, I'm going to pick Cleveland to win, though, because their defense is just too swarming. I don't know how uh, Kyler's going to have room to run around. <laughs> they're just so fast and everywhere. I just don't think he, it's just going to be too much for him, I think. First game back, you got to play the best defense in the NFL. Eh, I'll pick the defense this time. Los Angeles, Green Bay. Los Angeles got waxed and humiliated on TV, so I think they're going to bounce back. So I pick Los Angeles to win this game. And I don't trust Jordan Love. I don't Jordan Love him at all. Next, we have Washington versus New England. I think we can all agree Washington, their offense is much clever than New England. New England is just, you know, plain white rice, you know, nothing else to it, just vanilla. Uh, but at the same time, they stuck in the game with Miami, but that was for betting purposes, let's be honest. Uh, I'm picking Washington to win this, guys. I'm like, I just, I, I, I'm just going to pick Washington. Next, we got Chicago. Versus New Orleans, another player, Justin Fields, playing for his job and career. I don't even know if he's coming back, but he needs to come back because he's got a, a lot to make up for. But New Orleans, they're playing pretty well. But I can see an upset happening because this is these are one of those games where like everyone's gonna just pick New Orleans, you know, because it's the easy thing to do. So games like these are the ones where I'm like. Hold on, wait, pull the e-brake, just wait a second, take a deep breath, let's see what history tells us, and it tells us that the NFL likes to take your money, so I'm going to jump out and pick this as an upset, I think Chicago wins, but hold on, it's contingent upon, <clears throat> upon this, if Justin Fields plays, I pick Chicago. So just check the depth charts on Sunday and all that. I haven't checked any of that. I don't give a shit about that. But if Fields plays because his job's on the line, I'm picking Chicago. If Fields does not play and it's that badgent guy or Pat, whatever his name is, then I'm going to pick New Orleans. 
And that's my final answer. So just do your research on who's starting for Chicago. Next, Seattle, Baltimore. I think this is going to be a good game. But ultimately, I think Baltimore will come back in the end. They might Baltimore might go down early and then come back and win. That's been their MO, except for that blowout win. But most of the year, they've been playing from behind and then coming back. So, I mean... I, I see that happen again because of betting. You know, the betters are going to see, oh, Seattle's winning. Let's put more money on them. And then Lamar comes back and takes your money. So I pick Baltimore to win that. Next, we got Tampa, Houston. Like, I don't know. Tampa, Tampa lost last week. And Houston, they lost to the worst team in the league. So I don't know what to think about this game. I wouldn't bet on this game. I'd stay away because it can go either way. Like, this is, these are one of those games where two bad teams, you can flip a coin. Like, really, I'm not being funny here. That's just truthful because it can go either way. A game like this, it's going to be based on... And the NFL is just going to watch where the bets are for a game like this. If more people are leaning towards one team, they're going to go the other way. And you just don't know which way it's going to be. It all depends on how the game plays out in the fourth. But... If you're going to put a gun to my head, I want to say Houston. But then that's going to put way more pressure on that Aaron Rodgers story. So I'm thinking about everything here. So I'm going to pick Tampa because of that. I'm looking, hold on, I'm looking at my sheet here. Yeah, sometimes I pick different from what I do on, on Patreon. Because wins and losses and covering are two different things. So, yeah, I pick, yeah, I think Tampa's going to win because now that I think about it, if Houston wins, that's going to make it harder for the Jets to make the playoffs. So anything that makes life harder on the Jets is a no-go. Uh, now we got Indy versus Carolina, the team that just got their first win last week, and it's week nine. Just keep that in mind. Uh, with that being said, I think Shane Steichen is just more clever, even with a backup backup quarterback. We don't know who's even playing, and I still pick the Colts because there's just something about this guy just being able to muster anything with nothing. And he's clearly the next young hot coach that the NFL wants to bolster. So I think the NFL is just riding on him more. You know, Frank Reich's an older guy. He's been there, done that. You know, he's got the Super Bowl, but we still question who was really calling the plays. Was it even him? He's had no success since he's left uh, the side of uh, Peterson. So, <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know. Now we have, so I pick Indy. I pick Indy. So now we have the Gi Giants versus the Raiders. Uh, if Daniel Jones plays... I still pick the Raiders. If Tyra, Ty, Tyra Taylor plays, I still pick the Raiders. I think the interim coach is going to come in and basically do what they did last time. The Raiders interim, two years ago when he came in, they took him to took him to the playoffs. I think that might happen again. The interim is going to come in and be like doing what Josh McDaniels should have been doing, like running the ball way more using your top wide out way more in as many situations as possible. You're like this interim, I bet you he's gonna show you what McDaniel should have done. But the problem with these interims is they sometimes go away from the script and try to like, you know, outplay that, but that always comes to bite them. The referees can control the game, so we'll see how that plays out. Uh I think Vegas wins because of that that factor. Not because of anything else. All right, so now we got the Cowboys, Eagles. Something's telling me they might let the Cowboys win just to have the Eagles win in the playoffs. But then again, the Cowboys had a blowout win. Usually a team that does that, they lose the next week because they're so high on themselves. And let's face it, the Eagles are better than them. <laughs> like, they just are. So I picked the Eagles. I'm not a huge Cowgirl fan picking for them. But the Cowboys, though, they do win a lot at home. So when they're playing home, it's probably a best bet to pick them. But other than that, we got Bills, Bengals. 
I got the Bills losing this game. I picked the Bengals. I, I think the Bills are going to just miss the playoffs. Just one year, I think they're going to miss it. Because they're not that good. It's all Josh Allen once again or bust. Like, if he doesn't play well, they don't win. Like, you can't win like that. Not Super Bowls anyway. Because remember, Patrick Mahomes didn't even play well in the Super Bowl. But guess what? The defense stepped up and they won. Now we got Los Angeles versus New York. And you know what I'm going to say. The only way the fairy tale continues if the Jets win the game. So I got the Jets winning. And the fairy tale continues. I don't know if I'm going to be right. They might lose this one. But I, I just picked the Jets. And I don't trust the Chargers coach. I just think he I think he's a bozo. He doesn't know what he's doing. He thinks he knows it all and knows nothing. Now Denver's sitting, the Lions, San Fran, Jacksonville. So those teams are resting. Now let's look at these <coughs> standings real quick. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see. So as of right now, yeah, see the Jets are still in the hunt. So as of right now, if the playoffs would start Dolphins would make it, Chiefs, Ravens, Jags, and there would be three more teams left, and the next three would be the Bills would make it as of now, but we don't know what's going to happen in the second half. So the Bills would make it, <clears throat> then it would come down between the Steelers, Browns, Bengals, and Jets, so there's two more spots left, so you'd have to give it to the Steelers as of right now because they're the second place team. And then there's one spot left and it would be go down to the Browns, Bengals, Jets tiebreaker. So that would come down to points and who won and all that. Jets have 126 to 129. 154. It would be the Browns. The Brown, as of right now, the Browns would make it because they have the most points out of those two towards points against. So that's crazy. The Bengals and Jets would just miss it as of right now if the playoffs would start. So that means the Bengals and Jets, if they're going to make it, they got to win this week and keep stacking those wins because it's very, very close for them. They're on the line. And like I said with the Bengals, look at them. They won their last three. They're on a hot streak. They started off slow. Like I said, they always start off slow. The last four years, they've started off like 0-3, 1-4. It's just what they do. You know, they start slow and then they get hot. That's what Burrow does. He feeds off of everything. And, you know, that's how the NFL wants it. So I think, I think things are going to get shaken up. I think the Jets are going to start stacking wins. And I think the Bills are going to start losing games. I think these two are going to flip. Then I think... I think the Raiders are going to start winning games, and the Chargers are going to lose games, and the Broncos as well are still in the picture, guys. I think the Broncos can also start winning games. Over here, I think the Browns are going to start losing games with good defense. Steelers, same thing. I think they're going to lose games. Bengals are going to start winning games. So is the Raiders, or Raiders, the Ravens. And the Jags, they they have a bye week. I think they're going to keep winning games. And I think these three teams are going to start losing games, honestly. Texans might win a few more games, but I don't think they'll make the playoffs. And we'll see what happens with Will Levis, but I think this division it still has a lot of work. A lot of young guys, you know. Let's look at the NFC. So we got the Eagles. All right, yep, Eagles, Seahawks, Lions, and Falcons. Nah, there's no way the Falcons are winning that division. I got the Saints winning that division. So we're giving that to the Saints. I don't care what the hell they're saying. The Saints have way more points for them, and they give up less points. I don't know why the Saints aren't on top. So we're giving this to the Saints. Now the, so that's four spots, so there's three spots left, so the Cowboys are getting one, so there's two spots left. The Niners are getting one, and there's one spot left. So that, it's not going to go to the Falcons, guys. Like, let's, 
put that to bed right now. It's going to go probably to the Vikings. Or the second place team in this division. Unless. Unless. Hear me out. Hear me out. Unless. The commanders can do something. The Rams are still in the picture guys. And who else? I mean the Buccaneers and Falcons are still in the picture. But I, like, let's face it. The Falcons just are too clumsy with the football. Like they're not going to be there. The, the Buccaneers. It's Baker Mayfield guys. Like even if they do make it. How far are they going? So it's like I don't even want to look there. But the Vikings, man, they got Addison, they got JJ, they got a run game. Like, they can make some noise because of their offense. Still no defense, but their offense is good enough. So let's just see how Joshua plays with this team. He's got this week. I think he's going to be just fine. He's one of those guys that just knows how to play football. You can plug him in on any one of these 32 teams. You give him a week in the playbook, he's one of those smart guys that just gets it. You know what I mean? Like, you just can't overwhelm a guy like that. Like, he just, you give him the playbook, they'll have a smaller package, they'll build as they go along, but he's going to be just fine, guys. You're going to notice. Like, if he plays well with this team, then he's a good quarterback, and he's always going to have a job, even if it means being a backup. But he's always going to be a guy that these coaches are going to trust. So I think the Vikings are going to be that seventh team, guys. I mean... We're going to revisit this and see if I was right, but that's how we're going to leave it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.